They took her jibs! 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 Welcome to Cocktail Corner. I'm the Gnome, and this is Gnome's Tavern. And we're here with another great drink for you today. So, it has been known, uh, if you are a big fan of the show, that I like making cocktails with Malort. I have made tons of cocktails with Malort. I have won awards for making cocktails with Malort. And some people call me the Malort Whisperer. So when, when Rob told me that maybe a computer can make a Malort drink, I was blown away. I was shocked. And so Rob put in the computer uh, the Malort to make a drink with Malort. And this is what it came up with. Now, uh, the name of the drink, it didn't give me a name of the drink, but it said in the descriptions, and I quote, the last line is, um, a perfect way to celebrate the love between two guys. Um, and that's why I'm gonna call it Guy Love, because I love scrubs. <laughs> it's Guy Love between two guys. This is the drink we're gonna use uh, some top-notch ingredients and one not so top-notch ingredient. So let's let's make this drink. All right. So this is a stirred drink, and it's going to use an ounce of Malort. Now I was going to use regular Malort, but I also one of my prize winnings for the contest I entered was this barrel age, which I think will go great in this cocktail. So we're going to do an ounce of barrel age Malort. I'm going to use this one. I used that. That jigger in another video. So we're gonna use one ounce of barreled aged Malort, because we're bougie here. Um, it calls for an ounce of Chinar. Um, <laughs> somebody gave me this copyright safe version of Chinar. So we're gonna do an ounce of that one. Feel free to use some real Chinar. I am currently out, but I do have the copyright safe Chinar. So copyright safe Chinar. Um, they can't all be bougie ingredients, all right? <laughs> so one ounce of that. A half an ounce of sweet vermouth, because we are fancy. Uh, when I love two guys, <laughs> I even bring out the sweet vermouth. <laughs> Next, uh, because we're going extra bougie, I'm bringing out the Eagle Rare. Now, bourbon people turn away, I know. Uh, it's hard to find. Uh, I've just had a bottle of this sitting on my shelf uh, for a good little bit. I got a couple, uh, somebody asked me if I wanted one for 40 bucks, so I bought it for 40 bucks. But we're going to do a half an ounce of our Eagle Rare Bourbon. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a drink if it didn't have some bitters. So we have our Peixos bitters. It calls for two dashes. So one, two, ah, we're going to do one more. All right, let's stir her up and pour her out. All right, we got our rocks glass. Let's pour our drink into the rocks glass. It's a pretty boozy drink. And now for the zest of one orange. Wow. Wow. I get a good zoom. You know it's good zest when the liquid moves. And we'll pour it in as a little nightcap, a little hat on there. And let's give it a try. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the other more drinks. See that I'm a man of my word. Let's go try. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not bad. Um, there's just a lot going on. There's, there's so many flavors. My gosh. Um, so instantly first, I get hit with the... Uh, Vermouth and that fake Chinar. Um, and then I do get a little bourbon, and then I'm left with the Malort. Uh, this is a punch in the face, and then the Malort just sticks with you. Is it bad? I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, <laughs> I think if I gave this to an unsuspecting person, I think that they would jump out of their skin by how much flavors can pow into it. But let's give it another try. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. Uh, I would drink this again. I wouldn't be upset to drink it. I love a thing with a lot of flavors. And, you know, um, Sky Love is pretty good. Pretty good drink. Make sure you check out the other drinks. And don't forget to always tip that bartender. Cheers, y'all.